Hi, what's up my single chats and toxic gamers? How y'all doing, man? Today we're gonna be hearing the sweet, sweet cries of the Call of Duty community. Let's see what's happening in the Call of Duty community, right? We also ended up getting some news about X Defiant. Maybe this is truly gonna be that game where maybe it's gonna be good for the Call of Duty refugees, right? Bruh. Maybe that's where the Call of Duty refugees are gonna go. Like this video, share this video, and let's Breathe. see the- You guys do recall happening. back in season one when they first released the map Meat, I came out with a video questioning if Activision decided to nerf skill based matchmaking because for whatever yeah. reason like throughout that entire week weekend whatever it was it really seemed like lobbies were a lot more normal everything felt a bit more fair and games truth be told were a lot more fun because people on the other team were always sweating their asses off i could use whatever guns i wanted and genuinely enjoy looks like that they got another free to play weekend and they remove the uh, skill based matchmaking Bumbaka! and people that are playing during these free to play weekends they're probably getting their high and they're probably like okay well when i buy the game it's gonna be like this but when they end up buying the game they're gonna get double bumble Bumbaka! because this skill based matchmaking algorithm will never leave you alone in my time and a lot of you said the same thing a lot of you had the same experience as me of course not everybody skill based matchmaking is a very broad spectrum here yeah. in the call of duty franchise but it really did seem like they you think it's a broad spectrum my guy that's like everywhere right now i mean even the homie blame truth that was uh, selling those retweet helmet even that retweet helmet did not decrease skill based matchmaking dog like let's be real bro nerf skill based <laughs> matchmaking a little bit back there during season one then we got season two here everybody's saying the skill based matchmaking got ramped up to infinity yeah. once again but <laughs> yesterday they released yet again another yeah. one of those free trial events going from february 8th all the way until february 12th people can jump a free trial means that you know for four days no skill based management it's free 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 that's what they do and people playing the game people trying out the game they're gonna be thinking that when they get to buy the game it's not gonna be that sweaty but when they do it's gonna be really really sweaty dog this is the social credit system they really designed this sticker guys jump into modern warfare 3 without buying it and play in certain playlists and try out certain maps certain game modes they can do the full zombies experience in fact and this is the same thing that happened back during season one during these free trial weekends it really does seem like skill based matchmaking gets turned off which is why i want to show this gameplay here today this is using the new f2000 i'm not even using attachments by the way like i have no don't tell me that no way no way uh, i sound like the big homie swag right though who does that uh like uh, yeah i feel like that this is his uh first ever non-organic non-skill based matchmaking lobby guys shadow strike suppressor on it which only hides you from the radar doesn't give you any other bonuses or anything like that basically a naked gun and it's already a laser so if you don't have the f2000 you should definitely work towards getting it because right now it seems like a really damn good gun but looking I, I, and people that are actually playing the game they're probably screaming that no bro don't tell them to set up that don't use f2000 how many i'm curious how many of you actually bought the game one if you bought the game two if you didn't uh i, I did not but i want to know how many of you at did. this match here you're gonna see the final score you're gonna see the people i'm shooting at you're gonna see the people on my team it really seemed like skill based matchmaking was not turned on during this particular yeah. match and in fact throughout all of yesterday pretty much it seemed like skill based matchmaking was not really working and of course again everyone has <laughs> differing opinions some of you yesterday might nah, bro, it's not that skill based matchmaking wasn't working bro skill based matchmaking always works these seconds got this algorithm in the game that knows the size of your dong bro you play five games seconds know whether you have a friendly UAV online whether you have a friendly UAV online or whether you have no friendly UAV online right like these seconds know and these seconds know whether your girl is prego or not before she even finds out okay this algorithm is the devil itself it's the 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 the, the jowl himself okay Bruh. and this all this algorithm always works and there's another algorithm you know emmm they're like they, we have the entire family of this algorithm this is a social credit system i mean guys get ready for the social credit system coming to the west uh, very soon as well right like china has it get ready as well if you're in america you're like uh, hey man skill i'm just watching your video bro like what you're saying bro what you're saying man got listen man you need to prepare you need to prepare and before you flip the camera i'll do it myself okay you don't have to do it. let me send you some kishish i'll do it myself but make no mistake this algorithm it's not a mistake okay if it's not more working it's not a mistake they purposely removed it for the time being so they can get more people on the game uh, and buy the game they're after the wallets right this is like wallet algorithm they engage the wallet algorithm this time Bruh. 
and then there's like a voice chat algorithm you say one mean thing you, you get sentenced right you get thrown in another dimension right so that happens and there's another algorithm and that truly is the only algorithm take a guess the, there's only one algorithm that activision has designed that fails there's only one of them i know you're you're not you don't want to believe me right now but when i tell you you'll be like skizzle wow i agree see like yeah i agree i normally uh like i was saying that you're just gonna cap but uh guys that algorithm drum roll that algorithm is the rico chat algorithm see what i'm saying the rico chat uh, as the homie nero shenwa would like to call it the rico chat algorithm does not work it's the anti-cheat and uh, obviously you know what the activision has found out that even the cheaters have a soft softer heart uh, and more so than the, a softer heart they have a wallet and uh, <laughs> you know if cheaters are playing the game they're, they're loving the game they're firing dope mean obviously they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna buy like this uh bbc bundle this friendly uav online and in return they're gonna make money so that's the only algorithm that doesn't work other than that all their algorithms work You've been like, that was the sweatiest day I've ever had. For me, it wasn't. Every game, every lobby felt normal to me. It kind of felt like the good old Call of Duty days. In fact, if you go to your combat record, you can like check out your most recent games and see your overall stats over the course of your last 10 games. Well, throughout like 10 matches, I had like a 2KD and like a 7 win Dang. loss or something like that, which Dang. never happens yeah. anymore in Call of Duty. Like way back when, sure, I was like a 2.5KD player. Uh, only like cheaters got like 9KD, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like every single COD. Okay. Nowadays, especially with skill-based matchmaking, Jeez. as well as going for the interstellar grind, I average like a 1.2, 1 1.3. I'm not even gonna bullshit you guys. Like my KD is not incredibly high anymore, but that's how the system is designed. They don't want yeah. you to be a 2 KD player while rushing around. They want you like 1 KD, 1 KD, 1 KD. They want if you're like 0.5 KD, they're like, yeah, get up to 1 KD. That's when we're gonna clip your nuts. But if you're like 1 KD, then it's Joe over, bro. It's Joe I'm over. playing the objective. They want everyone in the lobby to basically be a one. They said it in their blog post which came out only 10 days ago seems like that came out they're like, like everybody is a one everybody's a one it's like going to the gym so you can actually enhance your skill or get more strength and be uh, more beefed up and have more energy but it's like nah bro you know what i'm saying you know you work out for literally no damn reason you're gonna stay the same imagine this right like in a in a world right where you were told okay work out and you cannot increase your energy. Bruh. Would you go to the gym? Okay, would you buy a gym membership with your hard-earned money? Would you waste then your money? Would you waste your money on a gym membership and waste your time going to the gym and waste your energy, you know, a pumping iron, <laughs> pumping iron, only to find out that you're not gonna increase your energy. That's what Activision is doing right now. Like weeks and weeks and weeks ago to me, but it was only 10 days ago. They gave us a whole blog post where they talked about skill based matchmaking. They said that in virtually every lobby, they don't want there to be that much disparity between the top player in the lobby and the bottom player in the lobby. And the really? result of that is they want players to experience wins and losses at a much more even rate. Basically, they don't want you winning too often. They don't want you losing too often. They don't want you getting too many kills, but they don't want you dying too much. They want basically everybody to be about. But, but, but they want you buying those. Uh, they want you buying too many friendly <laughs> they want you buying this friendly UFC oh, one too many but of them, then actually. this free trial event starts happening and just like in season one it seems like skill based matchmaking has been turned off and yeah. they also said in their blog post that this is something that they do try on occasion they didn't say it was specifically for the free trial weekends but just but take a look do. at this right here this was during the Q&A part of the skill based matchmaking blog post and they say have you ever tested removing skill as a consideration from matchmaking to which the call of the team responded we have run tests over the years to determine if removing skill as a consideration from matchmaking makes sense we will continue to launch these tests periodically to date the data remains consistent with what we detailed above players tend to quit matches or stop playing if they're getting blown out resulting in a negative overall experience for all players in the lobby and the general player population we purposefully do not disclose when these tests occur yeah. because it may impact feedback or the data we see during these tests mm. then the second question here have you considered removing skill from matchmaking in specific general multiple 
multiplayer game modes. And they say that we have considered this in the past and will continue to examine if this idea makes sense as part of an experimental playlist or in specific modes. And, and you know, the only time it makes sense is truly when they do free to play weekends. We have nothing to announce on that front today. Well, here's the thing, right? We know this is back during season one. When the free weekend happens, yeah. it seems like skill-based matchmaking gets turned down. It just free! You know, free weekend, it's like, come on, man. Like, dog, in this day and age, bro, like, we gotta have an emergency meeting, okay? This is gonna wake you up, guys. Uh, clench your butt cheeks, hide your kids, hide your wives. Uh, knowledge is power, remember that. Share this with your brothers and sisters, and also later on, share this with your kids and wives as well, right? But you must focus, okay? You need to focus, guys. Don't chase the pom pom, chase your dreams. Uh, but, but, like, in this day and age, bro, like, it's chalk, bro. It's like, it, 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 I'm sorry. It's just chalk, dog. Like, come on, man. What are we talking about, man? This is worse than having a social. No, actually, like, having social credit system is kind of worse, though. In a way, we already have it Bruh. with the uh, credit cards, but that has been around for a minute now. Uh, but, but you know what I mean, right? Like, nowadays, guys, like, I gotta tell you this straight away, man. Especially with Activision, never buy their games based on free to play weekends. This should be, like, going to. This should be. For all the games out there that goes like free to play for like a weekend just so they can get you on the game give you a taste and then you buy the game but now it is not bro like it's kind of joe over like gone are the days when you get to play the beta and you can actually get the sense of how the game will be the beta is like literally the full game okay at launch the good version of the game and when the full game releases it's like the alpha you get, Bruh. buggy, you know, you because after all, you paid to be a beta tester. Like, if you buy the game, you become a paid beta tester. You know, it's the Call of Duty specifically. It's uh, If you play Call of Duty, it's like, dog, it's like working at McDonald's, but you are the one paying the CEO. You feel what I'm saying? That's how Call of Duty is. In fact, that's how modern day gaming is becoming right now. Never, 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 never buy games uh, based on like free to play weekends, guys, especially Call of Duty, bro. Just it genuinely does. Like, obviously, it's anecdotal, but again, averaging like a two, two and a half KD and like a seven win loss, like that doesn't happen anymore in COD, but it does yeah. seem to happen during these three weekends. And you may think, well, maybe that's oh, yeah. because all oh, the yeah. new players are coming in. The players in the lobby aren't going to be all that good. But keep in mind, the new players can only really play in the free trial playlist. And in here, I'm just playing normal 10v10. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not in one of those free game modes or anything like that. But it does make sense, in my opinion, for them to turn off skill based matchmaking during these test trials. Here because if you're somebody that's been burnt out on COD for a long time and you're tired of skill-based matchmaking and then you jump into the game and you see it's right there right away, then you're not going to want to play, right? If you didn't buy the game because of skill-based matchmaking and then suddenly you decide you're to give like it a try this. on the free trial and then you realize it's still there and the lobbies are so sweaty and you're not having fun, then you're likely just to walk away. I yeah. genuinely think that during these free weekends, they adjust skill-based matchmaking in one way or another. But also, and this is something I need you guys to help me out with here. Does 10v10 not seem like skill-based matchmaking in general is turned off? Mm. I don't know what it Yeah. I mean, for the longest one of times, so I've been saying that ground war doesn't have skill-based matching and ground war doesn't have skill-based matching. And guys, we gotta dive right into this story, okay? Because a lot of people are now talking about X Defined. So guys are saying, where is X Defined? And apparently we got some good news. Where apparently hearing that x Define is releasing before March 31st, 2024. Yeah. And Yo, this come on, come on, come on. is coming directly from Ubisoft. Ubisoft News, uh, also known as Ubisoft News, and they are apparently confirming that it is going to be coming before March 31st. And you want to see what everybody's saying? Well, let's get into this one, okay? Do you think this is going to save the Call of Duty refugees? <laughs> Do you think this is going to save the FPS scene? Guys, the hype is gone. I'll believe it when I see it, TBH. No one cares anymore. Ends up getting like 13 replies, and I mean, god damn, but 70 likes. Can I brother get two likes though? Won't believe it until I see it. Okay, 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 fair, fair, fair. We've gone through this at least three times already. You're not gonna defeat Call of Duty. I promise you, there's literally zero hype for this anymore. Borrowing, and uh, looks like that homie watches like the homie, uh, big homie blame truth video as well, you know what I'm saying? But, but like, what, how you guys feel about it? W, L, banger, snoozer, you all, or you already caught the erectile dysfunction, but guys, uh, recently. Bruh. This happened under God's hot sun, under g broad daylight. These suckers were caught cheating. Them. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Check this out, man. It's a crazy.